Would you rather have a bucket stuck on your head or hand stuck in a pickle jar? Hand in a pickle jar? Yeah, because then at least afterwards your hand smells good. Well, I don't know if it smells good, but... Into an apartment to look at an apartment, obviously. That's why we go. Because I'm looking for a little one bedroom for myself. It's very exciting. I've never lived alone before. I know what y'all thinking, but I thought you guys lived together. <laughs> no, I'm just over there on my days off all the time. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm looking for a one bedroom place to rent out. For a while. Gonna be a grown up. Gonna be, gotta be grown up. Gonna be grown up. I got a new job that pays well so I can afford to live on my own without roommates or anything like that for a little bit and see how that goes. I wonder what it's gonna be like. I don't know. I'm excited. So, and then we're probably gonna go to a bookstore afterwards. Get some books. And knowing us in this vlog, we'll probably eat some food at some point. <laughs> But we will do it after. After? The apartment. Alright. Where are you gonna get at Starbucks? Probably the same thing. That I get or that you get? That you get. Oh, you like it? I like it. Alright. We need to make that a national thing, not just a Northeastern Ohio thing. So we might have to stop at Dairy Queen because there's a pumpkin pie blizzard. I haven't had Dairy Queen in forever. I can't remember the last time I had Dairy Queen. Yeah, me neither. I used to get it all the time when I was a kid. I, get, I used to get the blizzards. Yeah. I got the nerds blizzard once, which hard candy inside of something really cold to make it hard. It's not a good choice. It doesn't work because it just makes it harder. Yeah, it's not good. Plus, um, I don't want like sour fruity ice cream. Dilly bars. Dilly bars. What's that, the circle? Like, yeah. Yeah, those were good. I love a dipped cone. Yeah? I do. See, it was hard for me when I was a kid because I wasn't allowed to have chocolate because I was allergic to it. Right. So. Do you know McDonald's doesn't make dipped cones anymore? Really? Right. Fuck you, you used McDonald's. to be able to get them for like 50 cents. I love McDonald's. I don't mean that. Um. <laughs> I don't think McDonald's is going to take it personally. They're doing just fine, baby. Yeah, they are. Um, I remember when I was a kid in like Little League, my dad was my coach. Oh. And, um, which was rough. Yeah. Um. Because I don't really like sports. I'm not big in sports, but he made me play these sports and stuff. And uh, But if we did good, we win the game or whatever, he'll take us to the whole town for ice cream. And there was a place right on the corner of my house, like this like local place that's shut down now. Uh-huh. But um, I would always like dip my ice cream, get the dips, like a caramel dip or something like Ooh. that. You know, like, hard, like the stuff that hardens up and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So good. You can buy that stuff at the store. I know. We should do that. But yeah, we could just make an ice cream sundae bar. Yeah, we could. But we could also go to the ice cream, the little ice cream place in my house, too, that we haven't been to yet. Oh, yeah, we gotta do that. My whole problem with veganism is uh, they don't want to eat our food, yet they want their food to mimic our food. Yeah. I don't, they refuse to eat a hamburger, but they want the impossible burger. So, to taste like a hamburger. Yeah. You don't want our food, yet you want your food to taste like it. I don't get it. Makes no sense to me. Just eat plants! <laughs> That and how they name their stuff really what, bothers me. What do you mean? Meatless meatballs. Just call them balls. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. whatever. That Chick, could chickpea confusing. balls. Chickpea they, balls. Uh -huh. Tofu balls. Whatever. You right. know? Okay. Okay, I get That's, that. Yeah. Because you, you really can't just call them balls. Yeah. Or stick to eating jackfruit. I watched a video yesterday on how to um, cut a jackfruit. Yeah. I don't know why I watched that video because I will never in my life cut a jackfruit. No. But it was interesting. Giant Eagle sells like prepackaged jackfruit and like vegan barbecue sauce and all this other stuff. Apparently the texture is very meaty. Of jackfruit? Yeah. It did in the video look very like um, stringy. Yeah, it's like pulled pork kind of. Yes. Which is interesting. Like, I kind of want to try it just to see, like, what the texture but is really like. The, a jackfruit is huge. Yeah, they're huge. Oh, and do they're you spiky. Know, but you know what surprised me in the video, though? Is that to cut it, you actually oil the knife. 
Really? Yeah. Why? I, I'm wondering if it helps, like, reduce friction as you're pushing it into the... Because it's a hard, you know, like an avocado, yeah. but harder friction. Yeah. So anyways, vegans... <laughs> I have nothing against vegans, really. No. No. I thought, I thought about going vegan for a while. For the animals? No. No? Why? Health stuff. Oh. But vegan or vegetarian? I thought about both. Yeah. Yeah. But how do you give up cheese? I think I have to go vegetarian. Right. Because you know me, I it's, have 12 kinds of cheese in my it's fridge funny, at like, any given time. I could give up cheese. I, I, I could give up milk. I don't think I'd give up cheese or ice cream. I don't think I could give up milk. I don't. See, I, I could. I know. You don't drink it as much as I do. But I drink it with cookies. Mm-hmm. And recently have really fallen back in love with chocolate milk. And I think that that's what happens when you have a toddler. You love to, yeah, chocolate milk is good. There's a while when I work at Giant Eagle that uh, on my breaks I'll just get like a piece of cake and chocolate milk. That's a good time. That's a whole meal right there. I stopped after like two weeks and people were like, so all you buy is cake and milk. Because <laughs> you eat it like every day in your break. And I was like, maybe I should stop eating. Or maybe they should fuck off and let you eat what you want. We're here at the apartment place. Did stop and got some Starbucks. One was tasty, so one was not <laughs> to her. I think they're both tasty. I let her have the really tasty one. Yeah. Um, they did put a lot of ice in there because they don't know what light ice means apparently. Um, and then we stopped at the Giant Eagle where I used to work to get my free money. <laughs> they owed me my vacation time because I my last week was the week right before I should have gone and got my paid vacation. And they, apparently they've been holding that check for like a month instead of sending it to me. I don't understand. But okay. I got it. It's done. We got money. It's done. Let's hope this apartment's awesome. Yeah. Why do you always shoot me from this low angle so that the world sees the double chin? Oh, the higher. There we go. Yeah, you, gotta, you need to learn how to frame with that girl. <laughs> I'm serious. So we, we checked out the apartment. We checked out the apartments. We did. They were nice. Really nice. Yeah. The one building had a lot of amenities inside that the other one didn't have. It had a pool and right. a gym. Like they both share an outdoor pool, but the one had like an indoor heated pool, and a gym, and a bunch of other stuff I would never use. And I don't. Yeah, and this giant like grand ballroom. Like you could throw a wedding in there. Yeah. I don't know why you'd throw a wedding at an apartment complex, but still, yeah. you could. But. Like the Keith Richards? Like of the Rolling Stones. Interesting. And it comes with a CD. And his daughter did the art. Nice. Alright, so would you rather break a mirror or walk under a ladder? Walk under a ladder? It's yeah. less messy. You're not going to hurt yourself. Would you rather have a bucket stuck on your head or hand stuck in a pickle jar? Hand in a pickle jar? Yeah, because then at least afterwards your hand smells good. Well, I don't know if it smells good, but... Would you rather, would you rather kiss on the cheek or a French kiss on the first date? French kiss on the first date. Totally. Because <laughs> then that gets it out of the way. If they're a bad kisser, it's done. Yeah. Would you rather eat Cadbury or Willy Wonka candies? Mmm. Neither. Would you rather eat parsley or cilantro as a garnish? Cilantro. Would you rather lose a bet to a stranger or your best friend? What? That's stupid. <laughs> would you rather be seen as an, an antagonist or a protagonist? Protagonist. Unless it's a movie, then I feel like antagonists are fun. Would be fun to play. Would you only sleep on a plush twin mattress or a king size air mattress? Plush twin. Yeah. I'm bougie about bedding. Would you rather get rid of Pop-Tarts or Waffles? Get rid of only one? Yeah. I guess Pop-Tarts. Yeah, me too. I like Waffles a lot. Would you rather walk around with a ball and chain on your leg or wear a sympathy belly for a week? The belly. Would you rather... um, Would you rather eat 100 raw oysters or gourmet prepared cow tongue? Ugh. Cow tongue? 
Yeah. Oh, I've already eaten that. Oh, Countdown. how's that? It's good. It tastes like roast. Would you rather have less stress in your life or less responsibilities? Less stress. Would you rather risk a meteor hitting Earth or an outbreak similar to the Black Plague spreading across the country? Would r take the meteor every day of the week. Yeah. And last one, would you rather a bug flies up your nose or down your throat? Ooh, throat. Yeah, I'd, I've had bugs fly down my throat. I'm fine with that. Because if they go in your nose, well, then they they're going to go down your throat anyway. Yeah, but also, what if it's like a big bite and they get stuck up there? Like that? Oh, yeah. Sadly, you don't, like, nothing comes out of the board game. So it's not as fun as the one they play in the movie. <laughs> Not for a board game. Yeah, <laughs> seen it. TV scene. I don't know if I'd do good. First thing I saw was Fonzie. <laughs> I love risk. I love risk. I'll kick your ass at risk. Remember we had the... Which one is that? Oh, the Lord of the Rings one. <laughs> we, had, we had Game of Thrones risk. Yeah. We played it for like, like nine hours before like the premiere, like on the day of the premiere, before like the fifth season or something, the sixth season. Like all the Game of Thrones day. All right. So I found a video game that I wanted you to play. It came out recently on the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's called Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> <sighs> okay. And you play as a goose. Okay. Doing goose things and annoying people. Okay. So we're gonna... And that's it? Yep, you're just a goose bothering people. Taking their <laughs> shit, making them fall, quacking at them, running away with stuff. Geese are really aggressive in real life. Yeah. Um, Flapping your wings to scare kids and making them trip and fall. They can drop their glasses. Then you can grab their glasses and drop them in the lake. It's just, you're just a goose. You're just a, you're just an asshole goose. Is Pooping what you all are. over the place. And you can't poop, but you can quack. You can flap your wings. You can take stuff. Oh, my. Ah! Oh, my God. That's adorable. What's this thing? Oh, but does it have to do this? Oh, I can pick it up. Yep. I'm carrying a boot. Oh my god. Hold down. Let me out. Ah. You hold Z R to spread your Oh yes. And run. Ha ha ha. Wait, is this water? Mm hmm Can I swim? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat this. If you hit the minus button, which is on the right controller. The minus button on the right. Or the left controller. This? Yeah. It'll give you a list of things to do. Wow. Get into the garden. Get the groundskeeper wet. Steal the groundskeeper's keys. Make the groundskeeper wear his sun hat. Rake in the lake. <laughs> no. Yeah, and you just drag it. I'm trying to open it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh, but one of my assignments was to get... Oh, hey, there's a radio. Fuck you, bag. Of dirt. Oh no! I've alerted the gardener to my presence. Haha, -ha, fuck off, here I go! 
Come at me, bro. Where'd he go? Can I attack him? No, you can honk at him. How do I honk? Why? Get away. Get away from my picnic. This is my picnic. to be rude ass gardener. And that is Untitled no! Goose Game. So having played it for a few minutes, what do you think? Um, I'm obsessed with it, so just whatever. I don't know what our plans were for the evening, but cancel them. Because <laughs> this is what I'm doing now. But we just went to a ice cream shop, and which is very fitting. They also put booze in your milkshake if you want. <laughs> they have a whole counter of it. And they had some tasty looking booze milkshakes. I don't know how it works. Like, if you get a boozy milkshake, are you allowed to walk out with it? I don't know. Probably I guess, not. I guess we'll find out on there around the town. Oh, alright. Are you going to order a boozy shake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and a slaw dog. Oh, yeah. That sounded really good. It did.